Uh, this video is for a viewer who wanted a closer look at what I use for the fuel system. This is just a standard uh, propane tank valve. A propane tank fitting. And I go to a flare fitting here. And let me flip this back over. And just uh, you only need a small hose. This hose only has a uh, quarter inch ID on it. If you want to feed liquid to your engine. Small hose. I go to a ball valve for the shutoff and the gauge. I can read pressure. And then to a nice uh, metering valve here. And this would be my throttle. Gives me good throttle control. It's just a needle valve, quarter inch pipe, more more tubing, quarter inch tubing. Just feeds all the way. Underneath the heat shields. Then I switch to a quarter inch, this is called a bellows hose. It's all uh, stainless steel and it's flexible. This is actually surplus uh, aerospace fuel hose. I got it because it could take the high temperatures being next to the engine here and it's still being flexible and it goes up to a goes up to the fuel nozzle that's inside the engine it's just a 516 stainless steel tubing with holes drilled on the top and the bottom to uh, put fuel in the combustion chamber and that tubing inside spans the hole inside width of this area of the combustion chamber. And that's all it is. You don't need much. You can see how small these this tubing is. You want to deliver a liquid propane to it. It gives you enough to run the engine. It takes a lot. These engines use a lot of propane. And that's all it is. I use a compression fitting here. So I can actually loosen this nut and and pull the uh, injector tube out. I haven't had this apart in a while. You can see I got another flare fitting. I loosen my compression nut here. And this is the injector tube. It's a 5 16 stainless steel tube. They have holes drilled in the top and the bottom. That'll span the whole inside uh, width of the combustion chamber. I drilled out this compression fitting so I can slide the tube all the way through it. And just lock it back down. And I use anti-seize and all these threads here. So obviously this gets, gets hot right here. And while it's running, it all stays cool with the liquid propane going through it. Like I was saying, since you're feeding liquid, a lot of times you'll get a pressure drop here. So it's you want to use materials that can stand uh, 45 below temperatures. Inside of this braided hose is Teflon, and that's right at its limits. The Teflon, so it can take the 45 below. And back here you got a heat issue, so if you use something soft, you want to shield it or have a, a good quality hose like this. This is all, it's all stainless, so it can take the, the high and the low temps. Um, another idea is using a, some copper tubing, just put some, uh, put some loops in it so it can take the flexing and movement of the engine. And obviously the high and low temps, the copper will be fine. You just have to keep an eye on it.